what is up everyone and welcome back to another video my name is joshua winkins in this video i want to go over how to create this really cool glowing freeze from effect in final cut pro 10. so this is what the final edit looks like right here it creates this really cool glowing freeze frame effect now this could be used as a transition or this could just be used as a cool effect so basically what you're doing right here is i'll go back kind of go frame by frame so you have the first freeze frame right here and then you have a second one and then you have a third one and that third one is lining up with the second clip right here so it's a really cool way to transition in between two clips using a freeze frame with a glowing outline so i want to first of all kind of basically go over the brief idea of how to create this effect obviously the draw masking and everything like that isn't going to be perfect but i kind of want to give you a basic understanding of how to create this effect so head over to file new um, project i'm just going to go ahead and create a new project right here we'll just call it test so let's open them here and that's going to grab these two clips right here obviously you're already you're already going to just import your two clips right there but in this case we'll just copy and paste it into this new project right here now yes you are going to need two clips well you're definitely at least going to need two clips of the transition but maybe you just want to have the glowing animation just show up and then the next clip have nothing to do with the glowing animation that of course is all up to you so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the first you want to go to the second clip and you want to go to the first frame of the second clip right here and what you want to do is you want to hold, go to speed options click on hold right here and you want to create a freeze frame basically what you're doing is you're creating a the first frame of the second clip is going to be frozen so let's scroll over right here and let's make sure we cut it exactly where the hold is so let's go frame by frame right there as you can see right here we're cutting the holding frame or the freeze frame and the normal frame right there so let's go ahead and just go back to or minus out a little bit so as you can see right here here is the frozen frame so let's go ahead and play it right here and then there we go we bring it right back into it so let's go ahead and take the, the freeze frame and put it on top now in this case i have the freeze frame hold at 10 frames yours can of course be um different but we're just going to go ahead and hold it at 10 frames um right there so let's go ahead and put it right here and as you can see this is being held at 10 frames so let's go ahead and play it right here and this is what it looks like there we go so you basically created the freeze frame right there and as i'm looking at it i can already see a little bit of the normal speed so let's get rid of that right here we don't want any of the um, normal speed right there we just want that entire frame to be frozen so again like, like you saw if you see a little green you want to get rid of that because this has to be an entire um, freeze frame and at the end of the day if you made a mistake if you accidentally forgot to do that it'd be pretty simple to just get rid of it so what you want to do on this freeze frame right here I'll do my best to kind of kind of keep the speed time options um, accessible so let's go over here to the effects panel right here let's head to mask and let's head to a draw mask and we're going to apply a draw mask onto the effect right here onto the clip right here and let's just uh, create one of the roughest selections you're ever going to see so right here 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 again this is going to be an incredibly rough um, a really bad selection but at the end of the day it's basically just a point of how to create this effect and I highly 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 encourage you you do not ever create your draw mask um, like this but for the sake of the video we're just gonna create one of the worst I'm kind of embarrassed just to make this it's, it's so bad but we'll go ahead and we'll go out to 50% right there right there and right there so this is what it looks like basically you would cut it out it doesn't look that bad but you definitely want to put a lot more time into it okay so as you can see right here here is the draw mask so let's decrease the feathering I don't know to about negative five just a little bit of feathering I highly encourage you to always add feathering it'll definitely look a lot better I I promise you so let's go ahead and head over here to this freeze frame right here now I'll try my best it may be a little bit laggy because you have two different draw masks but let's go ahead and you want to actually I'll go ahead and just get rid of the read time option so remember this is a freeze frame so you want to create a copy of it let's go up again 
and create another copy. So you have three copies of this freeze frame layer right here. So let's head over here to the second clip right here. What you want to do is you want to head over here. You want to create a new color board right there. Go to the saturation, increase the saturation, increase the exposure, go to color and change the color to any color you want. Let's just say green right there. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel right here and you want to go to blur right here and you want to apply a focus blur. So let's apply a, fo a focus blur onto the second clip right here onto the middle clip. Don't apply it onto the top clip. And what we're going to do is head over to the effects panel right here and we're just going to increase the softness like this. So that looks pretty good. So obviously that looks horrific. It looks really square. but. For the sake of the video, we're just going to have it look like that. This is basically just like a rough selection. Okay, so you have this right here, which is the second video. You have this, which is the first video. And then you have all three of these, which are the freeze frame. And they all have draw masks applied onto them. And the middle clip is where you add all of the color effects. And that's how you get that really cool glowing outline. Now, what you want to do is you want to select all three of these clips. We want to create a new compound clip and we're going to call it test right here. So you've created a compound clip called test. Obviously you can rename it whatever you want. So what's next you're going to do is you're going to take the compound clip and we're just going to take the compound clip right here. We're going to hold down option. We're going to create a copy and we're going to create another copy um, right there. Now what you want to do next now that you have these um, compound clips is you want to take the clip the top clip now do do your best to follow the exact duration and like numbers I put in because it'll definitely help you so the top clip you're going to want to turn this into about four frames so as you can see right here this is four frames right here you want to take the middle clip right here and you want to adjust it to seven frames in this video you want to keep it the same so this bottom compound clip is 10 frames this middle compound clip holds for seven frames and then this top clip right here holds for four frames just go ahead and enter that exact information because it'll make your effect look a lot better now what you're going to do is you're going to adjust go to this compound clip right here and you're going to head to the position and we're going to type in negative 200 as you can see right there then we're going to go to this clip right here and i'm going to type in negative 400 so as you can see right there there we go that's basically how you create this effect right here obviously that looks horrific but that's the basic idea of how to create this effect now i think that's pretty much it in terms of creating the effect so i'm going to go ahead and just play the effect right here now this is what the effect looks like right there there we go we have created the effect all over again and of course you want to put a lot more time into creating the draw mask but as you can see right there there we go that is what the effect looks like right there really cool really easy effect i know i keep replaying it because i honestly think this is one of the coolest effects that i created in a long time so let's head over here to the original one right here and of course this is what it looks like when you put a lot more time and effort into creating this effect right here so basically you just have two different clips right here so you clip here and then clip here you freeze the first frame of this second clip right here you create three copies the middle clip has the basically like the color outline and the middle clip is the one with a glow you copy those three clips three times um, in three different compound clips you adjust the duration and you adjust the position and you've created this really cool freeze frame glowing animation. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 120 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.